Uh, this obviously crushed the roof, caused massive damage to the structure. This video from Chester County, Pennsylvania during a severe storm at the end of April. As many, many as you can hear it uh, looking on here to see really nothing you could do. Thankfully, the family living here made it to safety uh, of the basement just in time here. One of the key causes for this is waterlogged soil with the remains of Cristobal bringing heavy rain to the country. Uh, that was something that was very, very important here. Here's the deal. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. If you're ready to spot a tree uh, in your yard that has potential damage that could fall on it, you really need to inspect that. So what should you be looking for? Let's uh, talk to Chris Heim. Uh, he is the district manager of the Davy Tree Expert Company in Atlanta. Chris, uh, you know, we see this a lot with trees falling on houses and cars. What are the signs that a tree may become unstable and vulnerable to heavy rain and winds before a storm hits? There's several signs to look for. Um, if you have an abnormal amount of dieback, dead limbs in the canopy, that can indicate, be an indication of a, a root issue. Um, any kind of fungal growth on the tree trunk itself or around the base of the tree can indicate decayed roots. Um, any kind of severe lean or cracks or anything like that, um, you need to have that tree investigated to see what's going on. All right, so that last picture that we showed there with that cambium layer coming back around what looked like dead on the inside, is the tree trying to, the tree trying to heal itself? And will it be okay, or is that a tree that you should be removed? Because I see this on a lot of trees. Yeah, it, you know, it depends on the wound, how extensive the wound is. The tree will automatically try to heal the wound from side to side. And that cambium layer that wraps around is very strong wood. Um, but it just depends on how severe that wound is, whether it will ever heal up or heal enough right. to support the tree there where there's a weakness. All right, so, you know, all these... You know, great subdivisions go in with homes, uh, beautiful homes, expensive homes. And a lot of times the landscapers will go in there and they'll throw a tree, uh, let's say an oak or a tulip poplar right next to the house, something that obviously doesn't belong there that's going to be big. Should you, you know, have a tree expert come to your house and say, you know what, in 10 years, that tree is going to be over the top of your roof and probably shouldn't be there. Yeah, I mean, uh, the design and development is critical and knowing what the size of the, of the, of the tree is going to become down the road 10, 15, 20 years is really important in placement. Um, but, you know, after the fact that, you know, there can be structural pruning, directional pruning um, that can be done to still keep that tree and provide shade there. Um, just knowing that, you know, it's going to be a maintenance issue. Yeah. So let's talk about that. You, let's say you don't want to inspect your house, but you have a tree or two that's suspect in your yard. As a homeowner, what should you do? What would be your next step? Um, definitely call in an ISA certified arborist to come in and do a proper inspection on the tree. They look for all the little signs and symptoms that may lead to uh, finding out whether there's a more severe problem than what just may seem on the surface. And what can homeowners expect to pay for something like that. Let's say we have an 80 or 90 foot tree we have to take down. To take down, uh, that's, a, that's a hard one to give. It could be, you know, anywhere 500 to 5,000, depending on right. where it's located and what's all involved in it. Yeah, a lot of times you may need a crane to do that. Uh, some great uh, advice, sir. Thank you very much for talking to us this morning. Again, uh, that is uh, Chris Heim from the district manager at Davy Tree Expert Company on, on issues you should not have to deal with uh, with your home.